Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode right there is cool, amazing part right here in my hand and basically what this is, is a tripod stand. But what's unique about this product compared to other ones that I've tested before is that this one can actually use as a monopod. So let me actually open up the product first to show you guys what it actually looks like and what comes in the package first. Alright, so when we first open it up, this is basically what it looks like inside. And then you can see the actual product itself inside there. So let's take everything out first. So they brought you guys this accessory that you can use right here. They brought you guys a little remote you guys can use for the Bluetooth connection if you guys want to connect it to your phone. They can do selfies or whatever. And they brought you guys extra battery as well, which is pretty awesome. They brought you guys an accessory right here that you can clip your phone on here. And right here is the monopod that I mentioned, which is pretty cool. And right here, we have the actual tripod itself right here. And on the very bottom, they provide you guys a warranty card and instruction manual to teach you guys how to use the product itself. And that is basically everything that's in the packaging itself. Now let's take a look at the actual tripod first. So definitely really cool how they provide you guys a little bag that you can use to hold the actual tripod itself. But let's take a look at the actual tripod first. All right, so this is basically what it looks like you can see. Super compact and portable. Once you guys open it up, you guys can use that tripod stand, which is pretty cool. So just like this. If you guys want to pull it back up, you definitely can as well. So just like that. And it's adjusted based on your preference or how you guys uh, have it on and everything later on. So you can see that top part here is empty and that is where this comes in handy right here. So we take this out. What you guys want to do is stick this part in here like this. All the way in. It's in tighten this part if you guys need to. So that way this part won't fall off. So you guys can use like a selfie stick like this if you guys wanted to with the bottom part attached. Or you guys can loosen up this part right here and pull it out. And they can use it as a monopod like this as well. So they just have those two options, which is pretty awesome. And then the material that they use for the tripod itself is pretty good quality, if it's in here. Super durable. But let's put it back in first to show you guys how it works. All right, so let's extend it all the way first. So that's the highest for this one. Let me extend the bottom part and put it down on the ground first to show you guys how far it can go. So I have it down there now. Let me extend this part. So that's the furthest for the second one. And this is the furthest one for the top one. So I need to bring it over here so you can see it. So that's how tall the actual tripod itself can go. So for this tripod in particular, it's a 62 inch uh, tripod, which is pretty long if you guys think about it. So that's more than enough to uh, do selfies. If you guys want to put your own camera on here to set it all up, to do your own pictures and don't rely on anyone else. The bottom part is super durable and stable as well. So that way it won't be moving around, which is pretty awesome. But this is basically what the product looks like right here. If you guys wanted to use accessory that they provided for you guys, you definitely can. So you probably want to use this accessory that they provide for you guys right here, which is for the iPhone clip right here. So you just want to screw the bottom part on top of the actual uh, tripod right here. And then use the little clamp right here to open it up and clip your phone inside. So you just want to screw the bottom part right here. And then you want to clip your phone on there if you guys want. So just like this. And it is all set. So one thing to know is that if you guys can see right here, it's not actually rotatable. So that's where the other accessory will come in handy right here. So you can see that this one's rotatable. So you need to attach this on the bottom of that. So that way it's actually rotated if you guys want to. So let me actually attach it on and share what I'm talking about. All right, so that's how it looks like. If you guys can see once we assemble it, let me actually bring it a little bit closer so you can get a better view of it. So once you guys fully set up, this is basically what it looks like. And then you guys can use the rotation option here as well now. So if I go like this, you guys can see that it works pretty well. And that's the lowest and go right there. And you can turn it however you guys want to as well, this way, or the other way as well. So what's really cool about this product is the fact that they have another slot right here. So you just want to plug in another option, like a flashlight or another accessory as well. You definitely can. So basically, once you guys set this up, you guys can do your own selfies and don't have to rely on someone else if you guys want to. And all you guys need to use is the Bluetooth clicker right here and walk away and start using the Bluetooth clicker right here to take photos of yourself if you guys want to. So that is basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we can unboxing and testing the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that any kind of like selfie tripod stand is really worth it. Especially this one in particular because this one, like, like I mentioned, it has the monopod option. So if you guys really want to, you guys can take the middle part out and start using like a selfie. And just bring it wherever you guys want to. And then once you guys are done using selfie, just plug it back into the tripod and start using a stand, which is pretty awesome. So I would definitely have to say that this is worth it if you guys want one to need one of these. But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have need one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for unboxing and testing the product itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. It definitely helped this video and channel out. But as always, make sure to stay positive. 
be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.